Hello, welcome to another repair odyssey. We have a laptop with a broken power button, and this is an Asus TP300L. I've already opened it up. Here we have the board, and there's a special kind of bottom which lays flat here on top this fell apart one small metal thing is missing so i have to replace the whole bottom and uh, it's something like this you press it here and it pushes down yeah, just a quick video. It's been a while since I've done a video, so nothing special, but let's do this. So we have a daughter board here, and I'm going to put the camera in position. Yeah, like this. Okay. Oops, it's on the bottom, button, and we're going to solder this on. Some flux, tweezers, solder wick, ah, not wick, thin, thin wire, solder wire. Yeah, let's go over the microscope, which is not working, which is great. Come on. Try this again. Okay, thank you very much that you are working. So let's have a look. Something like this, just a little bigger. This is our bottom button, which looks okay. So it looks like I've ordered the right thing. Let's make it a little bit sharp. Okay. First, we're going to desolder this. Okay, I lost the beginning. This wire. Where's the beginning? It's gone. There it is. Lift this up with our tweezers. Don't need to have air. Okay. 
and it's broken off. That's okay. We have two knobs here. Clean the pads a little bit. Laying flat down as we should. That's it. New bottom. Button, not bottom. It's a button. So we also have here two knobs, should be exactly the same, no it is not, it's a bit smaller, well, so we have to move far out as far as possible which means we can't use that knobs, maybe one of them. Yeah, the first one can stay. Second one has to leave. Let's take a sharp knife. Exacto knife, they call it exacto. I don't know why, maybe because it's an exacto. Like this as far as possible. I hope this is going to work out. Solder. Yeah, looks good.
and then press it. Feels stable enough, does it? Yeah, I think so. So cleaning. A little bit heat. I like to heat it up a little. So it's easier to clean. We need a paper thing here. Good brush. It's a lot. It's okay. So we're gonna look we're looking good. Clean. We have a fill screen. See if this works. As you see, as you can see, it's a little bit smaller than the original, but should be okay. Let's put this back together. Let's see. Machine turn it on. Battery is disconnected. Hinge back place. Screws. Um, okay, the long screws were from or for the housing. These two are fixed up at last. Oh, yeah. Not magnetic. That's sad. Yes. Hmm. They look too far too big. The longer screws, I guess, are for the hinge. No, I don't think so. Let's try. 
Yes, they are. Okay, I have to take a look if I'm at the right spot here. Let's give me a second. You can look too if you like. Are we underneath or are we supposed? Okay, yeah. That looks good. That looks awesome. It's a bit wonky. So, everything is clean. Connect the battery. I don't know if we still have battery, otherwise, we have to get A or the charger. So out. This one is quite dirty. Good job. Here's the power button. Let's press it. It clicks. And the machine turns on. That's what we wanted. Can we turn it off? Oh, we can. Yeah. Hmm. Okay. Everything is working. Just a power button replacement. You could buy all the whole part, but I think it would cost about. 30 to 50 euros, which is a bit expensive. When you have the SD card slot, uh, volume, buttons, uh, windows, button, whatever that does, and an SD card, a USB. We have soldering iron. Cheap in the way. This button only costs a few coins. I think the postage was more expensive than the part. So all the screws back in. Okay, I'm not going to show you that. If you can't open the screws, you should not better try this. If you can, if you want, give it a try. Thank you for watching and see you hopefully soon.